Uh, we all had uh, our daughters in the Bali, <laughs> so we met there and we spoke about our problem and then we start to say that we have the qualification and we have the power and we have everything to do something for our kids. Then we contact the French uh, embassy and the French uh, consular and we talk about our project, our, our problem and they present a lot of help for us. They came to Hercada, they have a meeting with other parents and we start the idea and then we open the school in the 2004 with 24 kids and it was really a big step for us. The biggest mo moment in my life, I can say, it's when uh, in the, two, on the 9th September uh, 2004 we uh, offered the boxes to the kids to enter for this first day in the classes and uh, they enter in the classes with the teachers and I sit with uh, Madame Ellen and we look to each other and we knew from this day that we are responsible of 24 kids and the responsible of the, their uh, study, their education and their future and we knew that we couldn't make any step behind us so we have to go and to forward the job. So it was very hard in the beginning and we, uh, we didn't get the nice, the, the most uh, convenient choice in the beginning. Uh, but we get shoes and we uh, knew different sites that we can go and bring teachers. We start with some uh, French organization as Agir. Uh, the retired people who, who were in the education before and we go like there, like that, then, uh, then we become professional on this because we go even, we gather many CV and we go in France and we make uh, the, the interview with them and we choose them. So I can say that we have the, the chance to be in Regada because it, the weather is nice all the year and uh, we, uh, we have uh, the advantage to have some sportive teacher who like to dive, who like the sea, who like the, the sun, so they are more motivated to come to Hergada than to go somewhere else. Yes, for me she's not uh, close-minded, she's uh, open, she's, uh, when, you, uh, when she's sportive it's, uh, it means a lot she uh, she is uh, more dynamic. Uh, uh, she gave a lot to the school, and she's uh, um, better for me. They are all in the same field, and you know they are. We don't have a classic relationship with the teacher and the kids. They are. Uh, uh, when they have to be serious and to be academic and to be in the classroom, they are uh, like this. And uh, uh, outside, they are friends. They are the they are around the same project and they are uh, also diving together. They, they are having many activities together. So they are. It's like a model, as you say, and uh, they are doing the same. Sometimes it's the kids who are teaching the the teachers. Uh, uh, the other activity that they don't know are very lucky and the personality of our kids is very rich because we have 14 nationalities and uh, 14 culture and we are also focusing to uh, we are respecting each culture and we are trying we have many weeks in the year and we are for example uh, test week we have uh, culture week and we give the opportunity to each one to speak about his country, his food, uh, how they live, how they, they, they get married, how they, so and the others know this and in the same time they are proud to speak about their country and themselves. In the same time also the others are having this knowledge and uh, knowing this and uh, it's uh, let them be stronger and uh, have more rich uh, culture than the others. I think that it's very very good to teach them more than one language and they have the capacity and the ability to, uh, to learn it very fast and uh, we find them when they are in a group 
switching from a language to other in one second. It's really uh, it, it surprised us when we see them. For example, when he is speaking with Arabic, he moved to Arabic. When he is speaking with his English teacher, uh, in the same time in English, in German, in uh, in French, it's really very. Uh, for us to see them. So uh, the particular in our school that we are a family and they are all our kids and really we feel it. And what I want to say that I'm proud of my kids. And when I see them 10 years later on and when I see them growing like this and I'm really very proud of them.